20 things women love about men for International Men's Day. Okay, so truth bomb. Many of the things women love about men are also attractive traits in women. I know. Here's the thing. Whether you're a man or a woman, these traits can come across as masculine or feminine, depending on whether you're in a masculine or feminine frame. More on this later. Now, while there are some significant and complementary differences between men and women, much of what we find attractive is actually similar. So in this video, we'll look at some of the many things women love about men, plus how to tell if you, as a man, are coming across as masculine or feminine, strong or weak in any of these areas. This video celebrates a few of the many things women have told me they love about men. Remember, you're probably not going to have all of these traits. Very few people do. No one is perfect, and that's okay. In fact, it would be kind of boring if we were all the same. So, if you're new to my channel, I help men decode modern women so you can find, attract, and keep your keeper or simply have better relationships with women. Welcome to Just the Tip. Okay, let's jump in. Cross-culturally, the number one trait men and women want in a long-term partner that helps predict longevity and happiness together is one, kindness. Showing others respect and genuine care is universally attractive. This doesn't mean simping. More on that coming up. Example, he helps the neighbor chop wood because the old guy has a bad back but he tells him it's to get out of my hair for a few hours. Two, loyalty. Staying fiercely devoted to your purpose, your family, good friends and partner, ride or die through thick or thin, yes please. Staying true in a world of temptations is highly desired and appreciated. Isn't loyalty what you want too? Example. There was an attention ho at our Christmas party who always needed every man's attention. When we went to the party, he kept his eyes locked on me when she was around. He was well rewarded for his loyalty. Three, sense of humor. Making her snort with laughter is a bonus, but it's enough to be able to share inside jokes, keep the mood light, and simply laugh together. It's one of the positive common denominator in my past relationships. Laughter releases feel-good hormones after all. Example. Oh, this one's funny. <laughs> the first time we had a sleepover, I laughed so hard I tooted. I was mortified, but he doubled over in hysterics and we ended up both belly laughing for a long time. I will never live it down, but now it's a funny, if embarrassing story. A fictional story because women don't toot. Four. Emotional support, being her rock when life gets stormy, holding her and letting her open up without putting your fix-it hat on. Yes, this is a tough one for men, I know. But guess what? You want her emotional support without telling you what to do, even though you may not express your worries overtly. Example, when I'm feeling overwhelmed with the responsibilities on my plate, he holds me in his arms and says, I got you. And then my stress just dissipates and I feel like, hey man, I can handle this. You got this or I'm here for you. Go a long way for a man or woman. Five, strong work ethic. Hustling to provide, showing her you can handle the big stuff. While this one may be a little bit more important to women than men, most men appreciate a woman with a strong work ethic as well, as long as she doesn't hold it over him. Example, sometimes I have to remind myself when he works late that he's sacrificing his time for a better life for us. I should tell him that more often. Yes, ladies, you should. Six, protectiveness. Making her feel emotionally and physically safe and cherished like you're her personal superhero is a win. Yes, please. Women tell me they love that. And at the same time, you feel loved when she protects your relationship from non-physical harms like not giving Chad the attention he wants or shutting him down when he subtly disses you behind your back. Example, I was in this work meeting sharing my thoughts about the project and someone interrupted me. Jay jumped in and said, hold up, let's hear the rest of her thoughts. That was impressive. Seven, honesty. What, really? Yeah, I know. Keeping it real, no shady business or half truth, just straight up but gentle honesty. Even though women say they want the brutal truth, you know how that unfolds in real life. Most people, most people have sensitive egos and respond better to the velvet hammer approach. Example. I went on a date with a guy once who straight up told me he wasn't looking for a relationship or anything serious. Even though I was disappointed, I appreciated him for not lying to me to just get sex. Now that's not me, these are other people's examples. 
Eight, thoughtfulness. Remembering what she likes, surprising her with little things that show you care. Win. Depending on your love language, you'll appreciate the same from her. It's not about the cost. Example, when I was a kid, my dad used to pick wildflowers and bring them home to my little mom. A delicate bouquet of weeds in his meaty mitts always melted her heart. True story. Nine, patience. Lord knows, in a relationship, you'll need plenty of it. Understanding she may take longer to get ready and not making a fuss about it, Yes, please. Thank you. She wants to look good for you after all. At the same time, she needs to be patient with you. If you say you're going to fix the shelf, there's no need to nag you about it every three months. Example, I'm an introvert and spend a lot of time alone. So when we get together, I have a lot of words stored up. He lets me use up my word allotment first. Another example, sometimes I need to speak out loud a disjointed story to process what it means to me. He never rushes me to get to the point. I know that must be hard for him. 10, intelligence. Don't get tripped up on this one. It's not necessarily about IQ as much as it's about your ability to problem solve when needed. EQ, emotional intelligence. Most women love deep, meaningful conversations. Smarts come in many forms. Maybe you're better than her at budgeting or building things that require sharp tools. Meanwhile, you appreciate if she's smart enough not to interrupt you when you have a skill saw in hand. Example, he's great at planning road trips. I can't stand the details. I'm a get in the car and go kind of gal, but that has drawbacks. When I stop expecting him to be like me, I appreciate what he does that I'm not good at. Ladies, you would do well to tell your man these things often. No, he won't hold it over you. Gentlemen, make it easy for her. Don't hold it over her. 11. Respectfulness. Treating others and her with dignity even when you disagree. This is something us ladies need to work on. Do unto others. Example. He's a foodie and I'm celiac. I love that he asks what I feel like eating and chooses restaurants where I'll have some decent options. To Twelve, compassion, showing empathy to her and others. Compassion, kindness, and empathy are not feminine traits in men unless they come from a place of weakness, insecurity, or selfishness. If there's a hidden agenda, that is not compassion. Same goes for the ladies. Example, I was with a man who was physically, emotionally, and mentally strong. He would also tear up at tender moments in movies. I later realized I shouldn't have teased him about it. It was one of the things I loved most about him. That's a true story from me. A man balancing sexy vulnerability with masculine strength. Yes, please. 13. Strength. For men, this means being physically stronger than her and having strength in character, not changing your mind with the wind or being overly influenced by differing opinions. You likely don't need a woman to be physically stronger than you, but you probably don't want a woman with a weak constitution or one you need to carry emotionally. Example, I feel physically safe with him, which is huge, but also emotionally safe, like he's not going to run away when he discovers my imperfections. 14. Ambition. Chasing your dreams with determination, proving that you've got plans for your life. Women rank this trait higher in men than men do in women. But if you are ambitious, you may appreciate or admire a woman with drive as long as she leaves the boss babe in the boardroom. Ladies, take note. Example. I love that he's working hard to achieve his goals. I feel like no matter what life throws at him, he'll tackle it. Our family will never be destitute. 15, generosity. Sharing without expecting a return favor. A gift is only a gift if there's no expectation of receiving something in exchange other than appreciation. Giving to get is a covert contract and the opposite of generosity. Just like you do, women love sincere generosity. Example, Unlike several guys before him, he responds to my messages in a reasonable time, even if it's to say he's swamped and will reply more later. He's committed to his career, but I also feel like a priority. 16. Confidence. Walking tall, showing her you're sure of yourself without being cocky or arrogant. Okay. Depending on what country and culture you live in, this will look differently. In the U.S., cocky can seem confident, but I've traveled far and wide and it's not the case everywhere. However, generally, confidence is desirable in men and women. Example, he's good at making decisions. They don't always work out, but he handles it and bounces back, which makes me more confident in his confidence. 17. Great listeners. 
putting your phone away and paying full attention when she talks like her words are important. Wins, women's hearts, and some of their other parts. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Okay, example. When I've had a stressful day, he lets me vent without telling me what to do. I try not to make it a habit, but some days I just really need that. Hint for the ladies. To be a great listener for a man, don't reinterpret his words and make assumptions. Ask for clarity. Bonus if you don't ask more than one question at a time before he answers. 18. Reliability. Doing what you say you'll do, being the one she can count on, especially when it counts. Yes. Women love this, just like you do. Example, I can count on him. If he says he'll do something, he'll do it. Not always right away, but that's on me if I haven't told him why urgency is important. 19. Adventure spirit. On the other hand, sometimes a surprise sparks the flame. Keeping life exciting with spontaneous trips or novel experiences can delight her. I'm more of a please don't surprise me kind of gal, but many women enjoy it. You may enjoy a woman with an adventurous spirit as well, especially if it involves novel nocturnal activities. Example, he surprised me with a river rafting excursion for my birthday. I didn't even think he remembered my birthday. It was something I'd never done and it was thrilling. That was not me. <laughs> 20, sense of responsibility. This one may be the closest descriptor you'll find for the term man up. This doesn't mean accepting blame where it's not warranted. It means doing what you can with what you've got. Being a grown up. When it's time to adult and taking care of business is one of the sexiest things anyone, man or woman, can do. A lot of ladies need to work on this one. Example, company cutbacks caused him to lose his job after years of loyalty. It wasn't his fault, but he didn't mope around. He started looking for other jobs right away. He ended up taking a job that was beneath him with less pay. I could tell it was really difficult for him as a man, but he worked hard, upgraded his skills, and eventually got a better position. He never complained. A bonus thing women love about men that will surprise you and touches on what makes any expressed personality trait, either masculine or feminine, strong or weak, is bonus vulnerability. Showing your real self, your fears, and some select insecurities and letting her in on who you really are. This is where we distinguish masculine and feminine energy. Whenever you display any trait from a place of fear or weakness, your energy comes off as that of a child and is unconsciously interpreted by a woman as being feminine, weak, or dependent, which automatically causes her to enter mother mode. Example, you have a big fight and you end up crying or begging for forgiveness like a little boy. I'm sorry, fellas, no matter how compassionate and emotionally healthy a woman is, this behavior isn't attractive to her. For some women, acting like a dependent, scared child is okay occasionally, but it must be balanced with you taking actions that prove she can trust you as a man. On the other hand, when you display traits from a place of love and strength, your energy come off as manly, not childlike. It's interpreted by a woman as being masculine, which causes her to enter lover mode. Like shedding tears when your dad dies, or best friend, or your dog. This is why two men can lose their jobs, but have very different responses from their women, even if both women are emotionally healthy. Society and women ask a lot of men. We always have and we always will. When you're in a masculine frame of love and strength, you'll be able to accept and even embrace this reality as a blessing, not a burden. We wouldn't ask this much of you if you weren't capable. Remember, you don't have to have all these traits. That's unrealistic and not even necessary. Each and every one of you is unique and you bring your own strengths to the table that the right woman will love. If you recognize any of these traits in yourself, know you have a quality women appreciate, even though we don't tell you near enough. Ladies, tell your men more often. There are many other things women love about men. If you want to know some of the other things women love that you're already naturally doing, let me know in the comments and I might make another video for you. There was a lot of feedback I got on this, almost all positive. For those of you who don't feel good enough, try to accept the wonderful qualities you do have instead of focusing on the ones you don't. Instead of jumping on the I don't have that one wagon, give yourself some grace and celebrate the qualities 
you have that women do love. Self-improvement can be a good thing, but don't get so focused on your flaws or limitations that you don't see how amazing you already are. God made you, and like my little mom used to say, God doesn't make junk. So I'd love to know which traits you nailed. Let me know in the comments along with what I missed. Set aside humbleness for a moment and resist the urge to self-flagellate and instead congratulate yourself for your wins. And if there are any women watching, please share some of the other things you love and appreciate about the men in your lives. You are amazing. Happy International Men's Day. God bless.